We prepared this morning in just hours. You'll get an update from the governor out of Tallahassee. DeSantis already declaring a state of emergency for 41 counties in our state, including seven in our area, Citrus, Hernando, Pasco, Pinellas, Hillsboro, Manatee, and Sarasota this yeah, morning. Yeah, Governor DeSantis tweeted, now is the time to prepare since we may start feeling the effects of this storm by sometime tomorrow. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live in downtown Tampa. Jenny, Today is really kind of the best day weather-wise to finalize all of our emergency plans and to get ready. Absolutely. Good morning, uh, Caitlin and Jameson. We are just getting word from the governor that he will speak uh, to everyone at 930 today, along with the chief of Florida's uh, Division of Emergency Management, just letting everyone know what types of preparations they are making. Of course, that emergency declaration that they've already put out allows the state to get prepared, carry out evacuation orders, make logistical plans and uh, do other operations and also if help is needed directly after the storm, they can send in help much quicker. So having that emergency declaration is really key. And the tweet that you mentioned, the governor said everyone needs to have their plan, know their evacuation zone and just be as prepared as possible for this storm. And that means making sure that your hurricane kit is ready to go. You should already have it, but if you don't, you're probably going to be standing in some lines today, getting all those last minute things together. You need seven days of food and water for each person in your family, a first aid kit, flashlights and batteries, medications, cash. Just go through thinking of anything that you and your family might need in case we lose electricity for three to seven days or even water service, you're going to need to have fresh water and make sure you have a plan if you do have to evacuate. It is expected to intensify relatively quickly um, and that's normal for this time of year. It's also normal for storms to develop around this area this time of year and with having such warm waters across the Gulf, that's going to help with the intensification. And right now there are no evacuation orders, but that could change very quickly throughout the day. So you need to know where you would go if you are ordered to evacuate. And if you are going to have to go to a shelter, what you'd need to take to that shelter. Also making plans for your pets or anyone in your family with special medical needs. We are going to be getting updates today. As we mentioned, the governor's going to talk at 930. We're going to be getting updates from local county and city officials talking about their plans, how they're going to prepare for the storm and how they're helping residents prepare for the storm. And this stuff is going to be coming in quickly as we go through the morning. We have one spot where you can see all of that information. It is the free 10 Tampa Bay app. Just make sure you have it downloaded and then you can go to our hurricane headquarters. We're going to update you on the track of the storm and any other information you need to know, whether it's evacuation orders, uh, shelters opening up, schools closing, all of that stuff will be right there in one place for you to have access to. We're live in Tampa. Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, Jenny, thank you.